what better to go with a cold glass of homebrewed lager than homemade curry? Now this recipe is simple and absolutely delicious, allows the delicate aromatic flavours to come through. What you'll need to start with is cardamom, cloves, chilli, peppercorns and salt, all ground up. If you like more heat to your curry, add more chilli and cloves. Dry fry these spices to release the flavours. You can use chicken breast or thighs in this recipe. I prefer to use both, especially if buying a whole chicken is cheaper than buying breast or thigh fillets pre-packed. When the spices start to smoke, add a glug of oil to the pan. Get your diced chicken and add this to the hot oil. When the chicken is nicely browning, turn it over. While the chicken is cooking, Take a roughly equal amount of garlic and root ginger with a little bit of salt just to help, uh, help grip in the pestle and mortar and bash these to a paste. Add this paste to the pan and cook for a few minutes. Add fried chopped onion. For laziness and speed I've used a tub of crispy onions. Add Greek yogurt and continue to cook until the chicken is done. Serve with rice, chapatis or naan bread. Here I'm using naan bread, uh, one I've made myself following a recipe on mantaskitchen.com. Uh, details I'll show, um, show below. Strongly advise you go on that website. Lots of excellent recipes. Finally, add chopped coriander leaves before serving. And there we go, all done. May not look much, but it tastes fantastic.